Hi everyone, it's Scotty D here. I'm presenting this lesson through Skype to give you an idea of how my drum lessons look and sound if you're taking a lesson with me online. I'm going to do three short different levels of lessons, one for absolute beginner, one for intermediate, and one for advanced. So let's get started on the, the first lesson. <clears throat> This would be maybe lesson two, once we've learned the names of all the drums and had a look at how to hold the sticks properly uh, in your hand, and maybe some kick drum technique as well. <clears throat> a former student of mine, Ewan Ross, uh, he's made a really good video on holding the sticks for Sound Bass and Dundee. I'll link you to that below. So let's focus on <clears throat> coordination, the control of your limbs, your arms, your legs, hands, feet, fingers, <clears throat> all which have to be in control when you're drumming. Now for a lot of styles of music that have a backbeat, there's a couple of moves that are really worth practicing because they're kind of like the framework of a whole bunch of different styles, grooves, things that can happen in between those moves. <clears throat> so two moves, that we really need to make sure that we can land together, absolutely together, is hi-hat and kick drum at the same time. And we're not looking for any flamming. We're looking for those to land exactly at the same time. Now, you can trust your ears for this, but also trust your touch. You can feel the kick in the drumstick, and when your bass drum pedal hits the bass drum, you can feel if those two things land really tight together. <clears throat> and the same goes for hi-hat and snare drum together. No flamming. want those to land exactly at the same time. So um, one thing I usually have students do is this kind of countdown exercise um, where you play four of each, like hi-hat and kick times four, hi-hat and snare times four, and you kind of do this round and round until you get really comfortable, uh, comfy with it. Now. I'm going to switch to screen share so I can show you how this looks as um, notation. Bring up logic here. So we have here our four kick drum and hi-hats and our four snare drum and hi-hats. And the aim here is just to be able to play this round, four of each. Let's have a listen. Maybe slow it down a little bit. So we can practice doing four of each and um, I like doing this countdown exercise where you do four of each for a while, three of each for a while, two of each and then finally one of each switching between kick and snare drum while your, your hi-hat's playing every single hit. So I'll demonstrate this. Four of each. Three of each. One, two, three. 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 One, two,
two of each. One, two, 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 one, one of each. One. Maybe slow this one down a little bit. Now we're kind of getting something that sounds a bit like a drum beat. I like to think of those two moves as um, taking your first steps and kind of learning how to walk. <clears throat> you know, so many different styles will have this backbeat on too. And um, uh, as you gain confidence and learn more in the drums, you can play more things in between those hits. Underneath all of this, we have so once you've got those moves and you're pretty confident with them, you can play them all the time. Um, it's it's time to start trying to play this along with actual songs. You know whether the whether the drum beat has a little more going on. Those two moves, you're just practicing keeping time with recorded music, kind of getting the feel of it. So um, let me go back on screen share and uh, we'll check a couple of songs that might be worth practicing this along to. So we've got ACDC, Highway to Hell, a good starting point. <clears throat> now, um, it may sound a little bit different. I've had to drop the key a few semitones because of <clears throat> Facebook algorithms, but um, we'll see how we get on. One, two, three, four. is to see if you can do this for a whole song so you're getting really used to those walking steps and keeping time with the songs you're playing let's see if we can check out another one let's go for billy jean by michael jackson you, you might hear a few more hi-hats than what we're playing but just keeping time with those main steps that's what we're after just now Okay, I hope you guys have dug this uh, first beginner lesson. Uh, see you on the next one. Cheers. <laughs>